Wendy's is at the center of an E. coli outbreak investigation, and now it's also the target of new lawsuits. Michigan is up to 53 confirmed cases of a severe strain of E. coli that can lead to kidney failure. This Evan Action News reporter Mike Duffy learned that number is expected to increase substantially. Well, the reason for the increase in numbers is because this outbreak now spans four states and many people might not yet have even come forward. Health experts I spoke with said the picture will become clearer as they continue to connect cases back to this outbreak. Dr. Matthew Sims is the director of infectious disease research at Beaumont Health. E. coli is unfortunately one of those things that's, that's always around to a certain extent. He says tracking down the cause is not always easy. They do think it's related to one source, but it's still, you know, hard to figure out. He says the most important thing people can do is not ignore the symptoms. If you do develop uh, bad diarrhea, particularly bloody diarrhea, it's a reason to talk to your doctor. Bill Marker is a food safety lawyer who's been in the business for over 30 years. He started to connect the dots of an outbreak in Michigan and Ohio before it was even being publicized by health authorities. What we're doing is now seeing the counting of these, and I would expect that we're going to be well over 150 by the time this is over. And we've been contacted by four families who have either their child or an adult has um, uh, developed hemolytic uremic syndrome, or HUS, which is acute kidney failure. Marker provided me with some of the lawsuits he's filing on behalf of victims. One out of Michigan details that on August 2nd, the victim began to suffer from bloody diarrhea, prompting her to seek medical treatment. While hospitalized, she developed hemolytic uremic syndrome. Marker says he tracked the E. coli down to lettuce on Wendy's burgers. I pretty much narrowed it down to three suppliers in California. That's where this lettuce is grown. I reached out to Wendy's, who sent a statement saying in part, we are fully cooperating with public health authorities on their ongoing investigation. While the CDC has not yet confirmed a specific food as the source of that outbreak, we have taken the precaution of discarding and replacing the sandwich lettuce at some restaurants in that region. The lettuce that we use in our salads is different and is not affected by this action. Marker says the problem is bigger. The fact that we're having this conversation again today is just shows the failure of, frankly, the FDA and the leafy green industry, you know, to get their act together. 